Hi, I'm Ben from Benjamin Cooper Coaching. Uh, today we're talking about lifting your mood and in terms of exercise, running is a great way to clear your head. It's free, so that's gonna lift your mood anyway. Um, and it's also, lots of people are doing it at the moment because it's summer, the sun's out, the evenings are longer. But in terms of running, a lot of people particularly come to see me with injuries that they've caused from running because it can be quite disruptive to the joints um, if, you, if you don't know what you're doing. So in terms of stretches, I'm gonna show you three different exercises today that are gonna to help to release certain joints that are notoriously tight with runners. Um, so I'm gonna go down onto the mat. This one is quite a tricky one if you've got tight hips. So it's called a 90-90 stretch, but with a, with a twist. So basically you're in a 90-90 position and you're gonna try and switch sides without touching the floor. So you're mobilizing just through the pelvis and your feet are staying in the same place. So I, I'm making this look pretty easy. <laughs> it's not. It's really tough to get right the way around and rotate through. And that will slowly start, the more you do it, to loosen up the muscles all around the pelvis, into the glutes um, and even into the abs. So that's a great stretch. The next one I'm gonna do is for the hip flexors. So when you're running, you're doing a lot of hip flexion, so lifting the knees. So the hip flexors are getting a lot of work. So down onto hands and feet, you're gonna have one foot right at the front, one leg at the back, and then you're gonna drive the heel back to the wall. Okay, it's quite a subtle movement, but you can drop and drive the heel. Drop again and then drive it again. Do about four or five on each side and you'll feel a big pull in the anterior hip and that's really gonna help open that up and stop you pulling the muscles down the front of your legs, the rectus femoris um, and any of the quads. The next exercise you guys should be doing after that if you're going for a run to clear your head, remember, we're trying to boost the mood, um, is activation. So you've got to activate your muscles before you use them. You can't use cold muscles that haven't got that communication. So we're gonna come up and just practice on one leg to begin with. A lot of running you're on one leg so we're just going to do little hops and you can see the muscle that i'm working here when i land it's called the vastus medialis and this is a key stabilizer of the knee so we're working this muscle and getting it fired up to make sure that when you go out running you're using both of those muscles to stabilize the knees the foot and the ankle as well so make sure you're stretching the hips front and back and then make sure you're activating before you go for a run and then everybody's gonna be feeling better after that. So use those tools I've given you to get out there, lift your mood and get fit. The weather's beautiful and this is gonna really start you off with no injuries at all. Hi, I'm Chrissy B and my show is all about improving your mental health and being happy. Join me every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 10 p.m. on my channel Sky203. Visit chrissybshow.tv for more information and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Chrissy B Show. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Chrissy B Show and on our Facebook page, The Chrissy B Show.